in Belfast. And then through the middle of the week, still a bit of rain to get out of the way, I think, during the course of Wednesday. Into Thursday, it looks like higher pressure will build in and re-establish once again. So some showers still in the forecast for some of us on Wednesday. Drier for Thursday with temperatures through this week in the warmest spots in the mid-20s. Bye-bye. This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Finland announces formally that it will apply to join NATO membership in response to Russia's attack on Ukraine. We have reached today an important decision in good cooperation between the government and the President of the Republic. We hope that the Parliament will confirm the decision to apply for NATO membership during the coming days. British military intelligence assessment suggests Russia may have lost one third of its ground forces since the start of the invasion of Ukraine. Ten people have been killed, three injured in a mass shooting in Buffalo, New York State. President Joe Biden says America must do everything in its power to end hate-filled domestic terrorism. Lebanese are voting in parliamentary elections for the first time since the economy collapsed and sparked widespread anger against the political elite. Ukraine's night in Turin at the Eurovision Song Contest, where it won the popular vote. Hello and welcome. Whether you're watching in the UK or around the world, it's good to have your company. We begin this hour with the announcement made in Finland uh, that it is going to apply to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, ending decades of neutrality. The decision in direct response to Russia's attack on Ukraine will still need to be approved by Finland's parliament. The news comes as NATO foreign ministers hold a second day of talks in Berlin, which they hope will smooth the way for both Finland and Sweden to join the alliance. Turkey, one of NATO's oldest members, has voiced misgivings about membership, accusing the two countries of sheltering Kurdish militants. Other member states, though, hope they can secure Ankara's approval for the accession of the two countries. Well, let's listen to the announcement made about an hour ago by the Prime Minister of Finland, Sanna Marin. <laughs> 